guys so welcome to another session of javascript so in this session we are going to learn about the creation and hosting part inside inside your execution context right so uh, in this session we are going to taking a look on how creation and uh, hosting works inside the javascript execution context so in this uh, creation uh, we have uh, we have the creation phrase first so in this creation phase of execution context, if there are uh, any variables, we are going to taking a look on now in a moment. So let's see how uh, those are being uh, working inside the JavaScript. So let me open that one. So as, as our previous session, so as we were been looking into the code from the execution context one exercise, so now uh, here, if you can see, we have a variable A with the name and the we have function B and that function is being logging out a value. So now uh, there is uh, in, in, inside the creation phase. So once as we are declaring these this variable and we are uh, creating this method. So in the execution context, so in the creation phase, uh, once we will once inside JavaScript we are declaring variables and creating method so the memory uh, the memory will be going to allocate it for those ones when your code is starts running inside JavaScript so let's suppose var a so that that var is being either like it's it's not dependent it's been assigned with any value but only the declaration var a so when you when we when we run this in JavaScript so with the creation phase there is some kind of a memory which will be going to create by the JavaScript engine when your code starts running. So we will we will be going to taking a look on by running our code in and looking into the output inside our dev tools with the console tab. So let's see in a bit deeper. All right. So we have a variable a and we have a function b. So inside the creation phase, we will have to we will have to call that method, right? So now we are calling our method b, which is being created above, right? We have created this one, and we are also uh, we 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 are also want to, we also want to log our value inside this a variable, right? So we are calling the uh, we are calling b method here, right? And we are calling a variable a as well we are calling a variable to uh, taking a look on the output for this one so what we expect from this uh, program so on the first level the b will be going to initiate like b will be called and inside b we have a console so on the first level we have output for b is called and the second level we will have an output for my name Right. So this is the uh, this is the uh, expected behavior. So let's taking a look on it how our code runs. So you can see as expected, we have got that b is called first because this this represent like b method is called on the second level my name is printed. So this is how uh, we have expected our behavior. Right. So. Now it means after uh, it means after declaring uh, assigning a variable a writing a method b we are calling then after creations output is being serialized as we assume right output is serialized like line by line JavaScript compiler it's been compiling the code and like it's been printing or whatever you are being executed at your output right so now what if inside the code base what if if I can uh, what if I can move the uh, I can move the uh, mechanisms of this calling above those, right? So above this declaring a variable and calling uh, creation of method. If I've been calling those first before uh, declarations, so let's see how it will give us the output. So I have called my B method first, and on the second level I have. Uh, printed my variable a whatever inside this a variable so then after i have created and initialized and assigned the variable with the values and some kind of uh, print mechanism so let's see in our browser how it reacts so when i refresh to my page so as you can see b is called this is what b is called because the 
because we have uh, because we have uh, called that b first we have called that b method first if you can see right so we have called that b method first so that's what it's been here as b is called and on the second level we have uh, we have printed our variable a name so on that thing we have got undefined so why undefined right so this is this is a question why undefined so undefined why undefined for a variable a because we are calling it before declarations so if you can see here as i as i mentioned here so we have moved calling of b method and uh, the variable a inside the printing thing so we have moved those above before creation of those things so the concept of hoisting comes here all variables and declarations move at the top of javascript code so that they will not give you errors they will they will only uh, give you undefined because undefined is a unique value inside the javascript engine so that means once your code is being uh, initiated like var a however if the value is not assigned but it will give you the it, it, it will give you the uh, it will give you the value of undefined because javascript engine has created some value created some memory allocation for those variables so if you can see it more uh, deeper so if you can hide this line now you will get the error because you don't initialize this var a now if you can refresh this page you will get a is undefined why a is not defined because a is not declared right so a is not declared here a is not declared so if you can remove that value if you can remove that value right if, if you can remove that value and uh, comes up with var a so now you can see we have we have initialized a variable a so now it will not give us the error of a is not defined because we have we have declared a variable a but we have not defined with its value right so now it again comes with undefined because javascript engine has created some memory allocations for that variable so this is how weird parts of javascript works under the hood so this is how uh, if we can move out we can move our variables above the above the calling mechanisms above above the declarations mechanism so that will give you undefined because once this code will going to run in your javascript engine so uh, they will they will find so on the very first line they will find method b so method b is here so they will print out this one as it is being printed on the second line it's been once the console log and it will going to a so the javascript engine will going to find this a variable declaration so once it been declared it so javascript engine will going to allocate a memory for that one so before executing these methods and variables so the first thing javascript engine will going to do is to allocate some memory for those methods and variables so that's been already been assigned with the value of undefined by javascript engine so when it runs with on line number 2 so it will print you the undefined undefined is a unique value uh, which is been initialized initialized by the javascript engine once your code is been running if if the variables are not been assigned with any values so that's kind of a thing of undefined and this is kind of a hoisting concept